Thanks for joining me for a New York Minute. Today, I want to talk about a dark part of New York's history, its association with slavery. Right now, I'm standing on Wall Street in the Financial District. We know Wall Street is a place of commerce, and sadly, for the first 200 years of the city's history, some of that commerce included people. The history of slavery in New York goes back to 1626, a year after the city's founding, when a group of 11 African men were brought here by the Dutch West India Company to help build the new settlement. In fact, these men built the wall for which Wall Street is named. Company records tell us the names of some of these men. Paul Dangola, Simon Congo, Manuel Harrison, Anthony Portuguese. Of course, these were the names given to them by the Dutch. Their original identities were erased when they became enslaved. The practice of slavery here started as a trickle, but it quickly developed into a torrent. By 1711, at least 40 percent of the city's households owned a slave, and New York was a major player in the North American slave trade. Now, the spot where I'm standing, the intersection of Wall Street and Pearl Street, was the site of New York's slave market, which operated here from 1711 to 1762. Obviously, all physical traces of the market are gone, but based on contemporary accounts, it was pretty basic, just a roof supported by wooden posts. Just like today, the city collected a sales tax on every purchase made here. Even after 1827, when New York abolished slavery, businesses still profited from it. Local merchants were still free to outfit slave ships with food and equipment, insurance companies accepted slaves as collateral, and industrialists made huge profits processing raw materials like sugar and cotton that had been farmed using slave labor. And look. I know the issue of black people being exploited in this country is a colossal subject, one that deserves way more than a New York Minute, but I think it's vital to acknowledge this history. It's black history, it's American history, it's New York history. Let's learn it. I'll see you next time on a New York Minute.